Good afternoon, sir. First of all, I would like to do a great thanks for your uh, wonderful uh, talk. So my question is that uh, you have uh, uh, mentioned a uh, saying that what do you think we, uh, you became? So I, I think uh, uh, it, it, I don't agree with that, uh, that saying that, that uh, in, in my thought that uh, actually I, uh, I wanted to be, uh, become an UBSC, UBSC cracker IAS, but I, I, I know that I won't be able to uh, do that. So can you elaborate that uh, further? What is the background of uh, this saying? So um, my second question is that uh, you have mentioned that uh, education, uh, educate their heart, student, uh, educate their student hearts. So in, in modern time, we, are, we, are, we can see that there are uh, uh, mostly ed educated uh, uh, criminal. Most of the criminal are uh, educated, uh, as uh, such as Osama bin Laden. Uh, he is a great, great educator and a scholar. But even the, even that he, uh, he is. Uh, modern education uh, uh, benefit so we have to student ko combination banana education Indian education system to wo nahi hai to student ko ye hard ko to train karne ke liye education system mein kaise wo difference la sakta hai so we have two questions thank you we come to the first part that is as you said, you want to be a UP, UPSC aspirant, correct? And you say that you know that you cannot do it. Has somebody told you that you can't do it? No, I, I know my ability very well. You know your abilities very well. <laughs> now, I will ask you a simple question, uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, boys and girls. Now, in case I want to become a UPSC aspirant, what do I need to do? No, hard work is a part of it. What is the process? Studying. Studying is one of it. What do you require there? What are the basics you require for qualifying there? Consistency. Pardon? Consistency. Consistency comes later, beta. What? Yes, you have. You see, this is what I was talking about goal setting. Now, let's talk about goal setting today. We'll do it now. Okay, now my goal is to become a UPSC aspirant. I want to do well and I want to become a IAS, IRS, IPS or whatever officer. Correct? Now to qualify for the UPSC, there are certain terms and conditions laid down. The first of one is, what is it? You have to be a graduate. Correct? Is it given that you have to be a graduate with 90% marks? Is it given that you can't be a graduate with 33% marks? Simple? Okay, number one. So that is your qualification with their asking is you have to be minimum a graduate. What else are they asking you? Is there any other term and condition laid down? Height? Weight? There may be in that. Correct. So I am trying to, I am coming to what you are saying. That is what I am saying. Height, weight, does caste make a difference? Does religion make a difference? You can be from any religion which has been notified, correct? And you have to be a citizen of India. That's what it says. You have to be an Indian citizen. So once we are fulfilling all these requirements, what is expected next? What is the way this exam works? How many exams are there? Three, Three exams. The first one is? The second one is? Third one is? Interview. interview. He knows it. So... To qualify in the preliminary, what do you require? What do you require? In prelims, what is there? There is a written exam? Yes. What is the syllabus? Uh, let's say there are 100 syllabuses. There are 100 subjects. Correct? They are all defined? Or they are going to ask you something from the US? Something which is there? No, that is a part of the GK. What I am saying is, they are not going to ask you something which is out of the syllabus. So once the syllabus is defined, what do I need to do after that? Cover the syllabus. I need to cover the syllabus. I need to study. So what happens? Today, for going out and giving the IS paper, there are lakhs of people who give the exam for around 600, 700 or 800 vacancies. Isn't it? Let's take the Indian Army itself. If I want to become an Army officer today, there are so many lakhs of people for just 250 vacancies. So I know there is a big competition there. So there would be a merit list would be coming in. Correct? Now I need to prepare myself in a manner that I need to 
crack the preliminaries firstly correct so once i crack the preliminaries thereafter then i start preparing for the mains so now here the choice of the syllabus is with you you can choose one or other subject as your main subject has somebody stopped you from doing that no that choice is with you they say you can take history you can take culture you can take science you can take technology you can take anything that you want as your main subject and thereafter you give the exam once you make out make you clear that phase 2 then you come to the phase 3 that is the interview interview also so many ways are there on the youtube you see so many videos you see other things you have a lot of people available i think if you go out here and ask uh, the faculty here or the institute i think they would be able to help you out also so here what i'm trying to tell you is you know don't yourself say ki i can't do it that is the biggest thing that happens anyone can do it only thing is you need to take that first little step don't be fearful right from the beginning you see whenever we used to go out on the border or otherwise for operations i knew there would be lot of bullets flying all around there will be hand grenades there will be rocket launchers there will be lot of artillery shelling everything so that does that mean that i don't move out from my barrack or my tent or from my bunker no what i do is i go prepared for it okay bhai this is going to come this is going to come. so i should put a bulletproof jacket i should do this i should go out under darkness i should move from cover to cover that is what is taught to us and once we learn it still there is a risk to life but then that never stops us from doing what we have to do so that's what i'm saying that nobody is stopping you sir you need to take that step the first time maybe you won't be able to do it because you may not have prepared so well but you will come to know through that experience that i have learned this lesson in my first exam where i could not make it that okay i have lack of knowledge in these 3 4 5 or 6 places i work on those weaknesses they are called as weaknesses we can call them challenges we can call them opportunities we are talking about opportunities here opportunities are yours sir so nobody is stopping you but right in the beginning i am telling everybody i am requesting all of you you all people are wonderful the amount of power that you have within yourselves is unlimited you are like balls of fire only thing is that you don't realize it and we start giving up in the first aid itself i'll give you a small example like a very odd example i wanted to make a flat till 10 years back i used to always think, never go to the bank to ask them for a loan because i thought that they'll not give a loan to me my fear i was afraid that maybe financially i don't have the capability that they will give me a loan for buying a property correct but that thing broke 10 years back when i went to them and stood with them and when i found out what they ready to give me i was you know very surprised i was looking for x they gave me x into 10 but that happened only when i took the step i took had the courage to go out i had the courage to go and ask i had the courage to go and do it so that's why sir i'm saying don't give up in the first day that i can't do it there are so many people so many examples out there in ias others also if you go to the youtube and see they'll say ki in our first attempt we couldn't make it because we thought we couldn't do it there are people making it in the fourth and fifth attempts also in the army there are people who are making it in the 10th attempt also so what somebody here my friend mentioned you have to be committed you have to be diligent you have to be determined that i have to do it if you look at a dog you give it a bone and when it starts gnawing it and eating and chewing it try and take it away what happens you can't take it away so easily become like that i have to do this this is my bone i can't leave it so that's why i'm saying don't get disheartened that okay i i can't do it i don't have it if you have the capabilities look at the qualifications if you have everything in line you will make it just take the first step and do it again i'm telling you you people here are just fabulous whatever i have seen that is different that you know somebody was trying to sleep somebody was happy with a samosa somebody was happy with something else that is all a part of it so let's not talk about this let's talk about taking the first step let's talk about positive mindsets and let's talk about 
doing it. Which is this brand which says, do it, just do it or what? Nike or something, no? Why do you think they have that logo? That brand tag? He says, just do it. He is also trying to tell you that, look, there is a big, big hole here, try and do it, jump across. So take it as a challenge, take it as an opportunity and then work. We need to do our homework. Nobody is going to do it for you or for me. Today my younger son wants to join the army. I have given him everything. But he has to go and give the exam. He has to go and give the interview. I can only do, what I can do is, I have given him education. I have given him money to fill the form. I have made it easy for him to go and give that examination. I have made it easy for him to get a SSB training by putting him into one of the academies. So on the same lines, make your way. Whenever you try to do something like this in life, always remember whenever you make a goal, you need to have your options and your line of action ready. For that you require knowledge. How will I do it? What all is involved? Who all can help me? What do I require? Finances, support, other support. Do I need to go to another country? Do I need to do something else? Like today if you ha are going from here and you want to join the corporate, you know that you have to do MBA. So just as an example, so that first part, I hope I have answered it correctly. Please, you have it in you. I can see it from here. You are one of the most beautiful people I have seen who will, if you attempt, you will make it. I am very sure. Don't try once in life. You say, sir, I will try it and succeed. This once in life doesn't happen, friend. Our life is not so small. It's a huge, long life. Now we come to the second part, teaching people. You are very right. You know, we have a lot of people like Osama bin Laden. You have a lot of people like that who are there in the Muslim world, in the Western countries. You have this Christians and all also who have got this, you know, type of... Uh, I'll say preaching which you know, they quote God and they preach the scriptures the way they want. They say that if you want to become one with Allah, you know to, you have to go and kill the infidels. Correct? That is what they say. And once you kill the infidels, you go to heaven and you will find 72 ladies there. So that is what they are teaching, wrong things. Now as a teacher, what can I and you do? That is what we are worrying about. Our students are like clay. Three things, you know, which he is combining and we are making a small little, what do you call, uh, compound out of it. Now the three issues, I will take it differently. The first thing that he is talking about is there have been people like Osama bin Laden who are big scholars otherwise. Now, the second thing that he is talking about is that, okay, now tomorrow as a teacher I have to go and in the school they will tell me, ki, okay, you need to teach technology or you need to teach Hindi, you need to teach English, you need to teach mathematics, correct? Now, how do we teach our students about life? How do we integrate it? Great. Today's lecture was on life. Correct? We were talking about, you know, how life would be once you move out from here. And I was trying to, you know, tell you people or rather guide you people or rather we can say show that, okay, this is what is coming in the world and this is how we need to pro progress ahead as per our teachings as per our culture. Who is stopping you in a technology class or a mathematics class or in a Hindi or English class not to have small 5, 6, 10 minute sessions wherein you can impart this wisdom also. Teaching and passing wisdom can go hand in hand. We have moral fables, folklores, we got lessons which our gods and our seniors and elders and our religious teachers have taught us. So all those lessons at a particular time in the class, you can always bring them around telling the students that look, 
enough of mathematics let's talk about life if i keep on talking about mathematics 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 every class that teach the students after some time will say aa gaya maths padhane wala but if you make it more interesting by adding on these wisdom adding on other aspects of life and you add them on in a manner that you tell them look this is what i have lived through these are my experiences these are the experience of the people whom you call god whom you call gurus the people the students will take it in same manner also you must have seen in a class it is not just going and delivering a lecture those days are past now even the student and teacher relationship these days have become very informal if you see in the class it is no longer that a person comes and stands on a dais and thereafter he is you know with a chalk and then he keeps on writing and then he finds somebody doing something he takes that chalk and throws no now that person comes in between he comes and meets you he comes and sits with you he will come to you on the playground also otherwise also so nobody is stopping you from taking an opportunity you have to build that opportunity wherein you can also pass to them this wisdom that look life is like this that is what we are meant to do it is not difficult a lecture would be around 40 minutes so in 40 minutes suppose you have to teach them addition so while addition itself somewhere you can bring in ki okay yahan tak ho gaya you will find that people also when it becomes monotonous then people also start losing interest then you bring in this aspect look okay let's talk about this once upon a time there was a crow crow and the the thirsty crow <laughs> famous thirsty crow i don't need to talk about so what you do is you build this into your pedagogy the way you teach it is up to you how to make teaching interesting how to make it better so that people start recognizing you as good people not instructors a good instructor is somebody who comes to the class he teaches you everything at the end of the day he says i have finished my syllabus anybody a good teacher is somebody who teaches them the syllabus of life and what he is supposed to take in the class we need to do that we can sit and talk together i think madam uh, what we can do is in our own classes and all here this factor can be addressed because this is a very genuine thing that they are asking you know it can be built in very nicely i think madam and all are very you are in the best place possible today i wish i was younger and i could become a student here such lovely teachers you have i think i have been able to partially at least address some of your things firstly be prepared have knowledge and take the step take the leap have faith in yourself trust yourself i can do it every day in the morning when you get up from the bed the first thing you say is i can do it i will do it today you have to do that action the second thing is in your life you need to make space for everything otherwise what will happen is morning 9 o'clock i will go to the lecture hall i'll finish my lectures at 5 come back home and there after then sit down watch some tv or do something and go to sleep so neither your family is happy nor your any other question we have or anything else you want to bring out because we are on the end of it now anyone yes please i rather have two questions than one so alas uh, my first question is to a prospect teacher the internship is where we get out from our very safely surrounded shield and move to an actual society so um and sudden change of environment sometimes can be super harsh and on that note what kind of mindset a new prospect teacher must have on his or her first day of internship that's my uh, first question and my second question is when you started uh, the lecture um to embrace a journey uh, one must have to have uh, open mindedness and um so to cultivate open mindedness you have to be receptive first with all your empirical senses without having any preconceived notions right but the problem is when you do that what happen is sometimes other people's opinions and their way of uh, th- uh, looking into life can overwhelm your way of looking into life can 
lose the track of authenticity, which, which is the very essence of life. So on that note, can you, you know, elaborate more on to open-mindedness and, yeah. yeah Thank you. That was the answer, I think. <laughs> Nothing like that. Okay, we have two questions here. Um, first one that she is talking about is that, you know, when you are moving out from here suddenly into a different sort of environment, which may not be as you have thought. Number two, it may not be what you wanted. So anybody can take on this question before I take it on. How would you recommend to her how her mindset should be on the first day when you move into the new place and go to that class for the first time? Jaise aap ho, waise jana chahiye. Nee, good, good, very nice. Aapne bohut achhi cheez boli hai, mere dost. What do you say? Hmm. Same. Okay, all of those who say same. Anybody has got something different to add? Be, apart from saying, be yourself. Okay. But the thing is that uh, what he has said is very correct. Whatever we have learned from here, the values that we have been taught. We have also been taught certain ways to take classes. We have also been taught certain ways to interact with the world once we go out from here. Carry that with you. These values, keep them close to your heart. These are your friends for support. If on the first day when you reach there, go with a smile. Okay. Imbibe whatever is there around you. The first day itself we need not, you see, when the football match starts, in the first minute you are not supposed to hit a goal already. If it, if it happens, it is a very good thing. You are not expected to do that. Correct? You know, you make a move and then thereafter all of you go ahead and then... So similarly in that case, whatever you have learned here, keep it with you. Go there the initial few days. Keep all your senses open. From the eyes, watch everything. Ears, hear everything. Nose, smell everything. Keep your mouth closed. That is one thing that you need to keep closed. Understand what is going on around you. You will find out that your people who are there already, they will touch you, tell you in the morning in the staff room or elsewhere, look you need to do this way, ye bacha theek nahi hai, ye wali class mein, these are the people who are going to trouble you, this is how you should go and do it. Listen to all of them. Keep a notepad. Jot down at the end of the day or whenever you can, whatever you are learning. In the evening, once everything is over, sit down with that notebook, read it. Match it to the values that you have taken, what you think is the correct way to do it and then modulate. If I say that this girl is very, very bad and in the class she is always troubling everybody, she is not doing her homework, so what does that tell you? That that problem that she is having is happening with me. Why should it happen with you? You and me are not the same person. Are we? Are we the same? I am different. My chemical makeup is different. My mental makeup is different. The way I see life is different. So similarly, beta, you have to see this and understand, evaluate. The next thing that is there, you need to understand is that this class that you have here is your reservoir of knowledge. It is the reservoir of your support system. Anytime you feel that you are facing a dilemma like this, that I think that one samosa is okay, but the other one has said that if you don't eat one, you will go better. So you can ask the third person, ki, look, this is what is happening. We were all taught this. This is how it is happening. What should I do? Preconceived notions. If somebody else is giving to you, Take it with a pinch of salt. First, evaluate what they are saying. It's not necessary that he will behave the same way with me and he will behave the same way with her. We are two different human beings. So maybe as Manish Sharma, I must have triggered off something wrong in him. Or I must have treated him in a wrong manner. Or I might not have understood him. You see, 
why is she having a problem we need to understand that so that means what you need to have is a close connect with all of your students how do you do that you have 60 students in one class so how do you do that a slow procedure it can't happen in one day as they say Rome was not built in one day nothing will happen in one day take your time why it is a four months internship there is a reason to it also in that four months what is envisaged from you is that firstly when you go the initial one month you might take time to adjust to that ad environment as I said as you also correctly mentioned there will be a lot of people telling you something wrong also but you need to evaluate and whether you want to do it or not is your baby I don't like Italian food my son likes it he still tells me it's very good I tell him no sorry I don't like it I'll not have it but for a third person it is good Italian food is not bad but person to person the different the taste matters so similarly here also the taste will matter so build that what you call relationship the rapport with your students here everything keep it at the back of mind and whenever you deal with a person like me whom the teacher says that he is a problem creator keep it at the back of the mind but always give them the benefit of doubt and let them prove it to you that I am wrong you be good you will find that whatever comes back is going to be good so this environmental thing the scariness is there like today I was scared when I came here okay, I don't know yaar, what will they think will they like me or not should I wear blue today or should I wear white should I you know go formal or should I go informal I could have come in a jeans also but then I realized Manaka, no there are you know at each each place you have a different type of thing that you're supposed to maintain at each stage of life you have to maintain and show something different but inside you have to be the same today if I go and sit with my oldest of friends who were with me in class 40 50 years back with them I become like them and when I go out I become different again but my own basic things are the same so you need to keep your basics the same go and just listen and do everything that is required take your time nobody is hurrying you is there somebody who is going to hurry you dear ma'am uh, uh, so don't worry you are wonderful things will happen good only that is your first part I hope I have been able to address it to a certain limit but I think ma'am if this can be incorporated into their curriculums also it happens good the second part was open mind okay what is open mindedness mm, to me the open minded is more like you have to be to cultivate open mindedness one have to be receptive with all by uh, empirical senses understood having, you know uh, preconceived notions but when you do that what happens is sometimes you lose your track on looking into life because you are overwhelmed by this Yes, yes. thank you the second aspect again is related to the first one which talks about you know your own views being uh, convoluted or changed by the other people's views you know when we talk about open mindedness what does it really mean I'll tell you now that whenever you go to a place don't go with any preconceived notions number one number two whatever people are going to tell you from all around or the environment is going to come to you and tell you just listen to them you know somebody might be saying it very strongly there will be some people who will bully you also there will be some people who will come on so strongly that they will say ki agar nahi karoge to I'll see you hai? so for those people what is there is keep your peace with them don't say yes or no you don't have to behave in the manner that somebody else wants you to do you create your own path whatever they say is to be used is, is to be used wisely you see we are always talking about something you know wisely and we are also talking about sympathetically and empathetically so here what you need to do is such people they will come there won't be one there will be so many of them 
that by the time you move out of four months, I think you will at least face at least 40 of them. So just keep your mind again, as I said, clear. The only thing that should be in your mind is what you have been taught here. What you as a person think is correct. And whatever the rest of the people say, just keep on jotting it down or keeping it at the back of the mind. You may not have time to jot down every time, but in the end of the day, you can always sit down and say, Ki, okay, bhai, Manish Sharma said this, Ripunde Sharma said this, Sandhya said this. And then thereafter, you make your own judgment. And wherever you feel that there are things which are not being understood or you are able, not able to go ahead with it and do it the way you want, then you can go back to your friends. Your mentors, like your teachers are here. You can go back to them, Ki, ma'am, aapne toh aisa bola tha. Mere saath ye problem ho rahi hai. Main kya karun isme? But always be positive. People will try to cultivate negativity inside you, inside your soul. That is the materialistic world today. I am not saying don't be materialistic, but be materialistic the way you want to be. You need not have the same definition as the other one. And as I said earlier also, I am wrong. I am a bad person for somebody. I may not be so for you. Because that person has not understood me or some other practice or something else has happened. So out there, when you go back to your first place now, just take some time, couple of weeks to understand, absorb what is happening and then go ahead and then make your own judgment. Maybe in two, three, four weeks, you'll be able to do what you want, the way you want to do it. Develop your own way of teaching. Develop your own way of values and other things that you want to bring out to the other people. And then go ahead with it. You have four months, which is a very long time. And these four months are going to be in a place which has been chosen for you from here, which has been built on the same customs and traditions and values as is there in this organization. So you will not find much of a difference. Maybe there is a difference in my opinion and your opinion. And I think you are quite grown up. Easily you can take them along. Every time you need not tell them that I am right. Correct? Every time you need not tell them that you are wrong. What I need to do is, what I am doing is correct. And what is going on is as per my requirement. That is what you are required. Please in life, do not go and have a conflict with others just because the person says that this is not good and you are doing what you are doing and I think something is different. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, when you spoke about the Sharma Sharma, I hope I was able to... You know, these two or three topics, you know, I can always come and take a talk again for two hours. <laughs> okay. Sir. Yes, please. Ha. Huh. Please. Thank you for the lectures. Um, my question is how to motivate ourselves without any our own experience. Because um, when um, there is a time when uh, I wanted to do that work or this work and I need some motivation, so I, you know, take uh, from some motivation from there or uh, where uh, I want to take. But uh, for small time, I, you know, I use this motivation and I do. I can do that, and if he, she or he can do, then I can do that. But uh, for uh, for time to time, uh, this motivation, uh, you know, uh, disappear. So how can I, you know, uh, persistent this motivation for a long time, and how can I use uh, these motivations uh, while uh, doing study? I'm just pare karte to tab procrastination aata hai na jab hum kal karenge kal karenge motivation nahi hota hai hamar aur hum jab fir ek video aur kuch se lega abhi. Uh, lecture tha, se bhi ga, to par ek din, do din ye motivation jo ga, iske baad fir wo se to hama, without our own experience how we can you know persistence the motivation or we can do our work continuously thank you lovely question i must say a very good question how do you self motivate without experience Anyone can try. How do you self-motivate without any experience? You don't have any experience, but you are feeling low today. You are not feeling that motivated. So what is there that keeps you going? No 
no one comes to help you, so you have you should have to motivate yourself. How? Because like, uh, if if I get success, uh, if I get success, there's my benefit. No, there's no other benefit, right? So we have to think like, uh, if I study, this is my own benefit, and if I lost, no one can you know affect by my, my loss, right? So like. Uh, if I talk about myself, I motivate like this, like uh, myself and miss I, I, like sorry, me khud ko me khud me mera kya bolte me. I am with your me. Don't worry. Me me khud hi me hu. Or dusra mera ko koi fikar nahi hai. To me khud ke liye nahi bolega to dusra to mere liye nahi bolega. Wonderful. Ah, to dusra mujhe motivate nahi karega kyunki wo mujhe motivate karu. Usko to koi खेसांग नहीं है क्या बोलते बेनिफिट नहीं है तो मेरा बारा होकर मेरा खुद को अच्छा बनाने के लिए मेरा हाथ में है ना तो ये माइंडसेट लेके हम ये करते हैं मोटिवेट वंडरफुल वंडरफुल एनीबॉडी एल्स यू कैन थ्रो सम लाइट ऑन दिस आई विल ट्राई टू मोटिवेट माय सेल्फ बाय लुकिंग एट नेचर एट नेचर yeah you find ways to do it like in your case it is nature in your case you are saying it is self motivation that look this is good for me if i don't do it then tomorrow i cannot do this mm. correct so we have two things here anything more you want to add no yes. anybody else i think we got two good answers here and then we'll anyone um mai ye kehna chahti hu ki abhi to mai is university mein naya hu to mere liye sab naya naya lag raha hai is the क्वेश्चन से थोड़ा रिलेटेड है मेरा आंसर तो एक मोटिव कैसे होता है कि जब भी अपने इन्वॉल्वमेंट में देखते हैं तो लोग बहुत ही अलग अलग थॉट्स के इन्वॉल्व होते हैं तो उसके साथ हमारे सोच इस तरह क्यों नहीं है ऐसा मतलब सोच सोच आ रहा है एंड इसके साथ हमें लाइक न्यू क्रिएटिव लोग लाइक दिखाई देता है तो इसके इसके वजह से इसके साथ साथ खुद को लाइक मुझे बहुत ज़्यादा पढ़ाई करना चाहिए ऐसा ख्याल आता है तो ऐसा लिस्ट बनाकर री स्टार्ट करना चाहिए ग्रेट वंडरफुल आई थिंक वी हैव हैड थ्री वेरी गुड थिंग्स जिसमें सबसे पहली बात जो है जो हम लोग जिंदगी में नहीं करते हैं वी डोंट मेक अ लिस्ट we have plans but we do not write it down anywhere why what is your goal in life to become a good teacher so what do you need to do uh, so if you focus you will become a good teacher how will you go across this becoming a good teacher a good teacher would have some qualities she needs to have knowledge both types academic also you to uh, got to have communication skills right if you had written this list down you could have just rattled it out nahi no? fact of life nahi no, i'm telling you this is the biggest thing in life i'm uh, i'll request all of you from today maintain a small little journal or a diary or if not just a piece of paper stick it on the almira in that right short term goal mid term goal long term goal and lastly is the purpose of your life at this point keep the purpose blank very few people are so knowledgeable and they know about themselves that they can talk about purpose in life i can't i don't have that sort of power in me i i yet i do not know what is my purpose in life i am trying to be useful in your case your end goal is to become a good teacher so your short term goal the mid term goal would become firstly that you need to do certain things in between you have to have good communication you got to have good uh, personality you need to have te teaching methods you need to know them you also need to have a graduation a post graduate degree and all that thing so that all will come there and once you have that planned you will find that these phases you see why does a person become self demotivated is because at certain point in life i have thought of so many things but it, i have not planned it out i have not chalked it out i do not know what the next step is going to be so i am in a blank place so what i do the next thing is yaar main depressed ho gaya yaar mai kal kya karu so firstly make a journal a diary make out these goals 
and in that right goal number one I need to complete it by August 30th so and so there comes your time frame now you won't have time that by that much of time you need to brush up your communication skills so you know every day communication karna I need to watch videos I need to practice I need to practice and record my video and then see if I am speaking well or not similarly make the thing for the whole thing the second thing is self motivation how you can do it have role models we have role models here your teachers you may have gurus like his holy life the Dalai Lama or you may have somebody else also you might have some gods or somebody else some people from the ancient uh, scriptures you know like in our case in Hindus they have the Ramayana the Mahabharata you have a lot of things you know, the Bhagavad Gita and all that uh, we have our own scriptures here take motivation from there third thing is have couple of good friends whom you can go to when you are feeling low like when I feel low I should come up and walk to you कि यार आज मन नहीं लग रहा यार समझ गए आप तो आप क्या बोलेंगे मन नहीं लग रहा चल ठीक है बैठते हैं तंबूला खेलते हैं लूडो खेलते हैं कुछ करते हैं या फिर हम लोग वॉक पे चलते हैं थर्ड थिंग इज वेन एवर यू हैव सच अ थिंग शिफ्ट योर लोकेशन स्टॉप डूइंग वॉट यू आर डूइंग गो लाइक शी सेज इफ यू लाइक नेचर गो आउट वॉक इफ यू लाइक टू सी वीडियोज हैव अ लुक सी द वीडियोज एंड ऑल couple of good videos have a look at them if you like something else like you want to go out and do a painting or something do that in your time so that once you do that you refresh you know all the time if you keep on thinking and thinking ki nahi ho raha nahi ho raha nahi ho raha nahi hoga you need to change you understand that is the next method the third method i will tell you is to have a mentor a mentor could be one of your gurus here one of your teachers somebody who is well known to you, elder maybe from your household or maybe somebody you like and you know who is knowledgeable and then you have role models. Role model is if I want to do well I say I should become like Mr. Sundar Pichai. He is my role model. Somebody will say Mother Teresa. Somebody will take Sir's name. You got to have these. Motivation happens in this manner only. So, so say jo jaruri cheez zindagi ki hai always understand if you have not written it down it's not going to happen does that give you some answers little ideas thik mila kuch mila anybody else please okay we come to the last slide so what we have talked about is you know embracing each moment of our life with optimism and hope hope is a very big thing होप के ऊपर दुनिया चल रही है वी टॉक अबाउट टुमोरो ऑल दो वी डू नॉट नो टुमोरो विल कम और नॉट करेक्ट हु नोज दैट टुमोरो मॉर्निंग नाइन ओ क्लॉक वॉट इज गुंड हैपन टिल फ्यू डेज बैक यू डिड नॉट नो दैट कन्नर मनीष शर्मा इज गोइंग टू कम यू नो टुमोरो मॉर्निंग नाइन ओ क्लॉक वॉट गुंड हैपन ओ वंडरफुल समबडी वेकेम एट वेकेम अप एट एट थर्टी नाइन ऑन द एंड as you know uh, there's a saying the best is yet to come and the best will only happen if you manifest and you take step to make better best and the best bestest now there are three things that you know uh, our teachings have given which you should always remember in life one is cultivating compassion compassion for everybody living maybe plants maybe animals have compassion for everybody God created this world and he put all of us here so that we can all live in peace and harmony. The next thing is promoting ethical behavior. Right and wrong is as clear as black and white. The day you step into grey, you can then say bye bye to what she was saying. Ki log mujhe grey karna cha rahe hai, should I stay black or white? It's always better to be black and white. And after some time, people will start accepting you for black and white. Nobody will say that you are a grey. The third thing is develop your emotional intelligence. Now, emotional intelligence is not something that you know develop by reading books. Emotional intelligence is using your wisdom, which you have been taught by the world. Number two is that you do a bit of meditation. You do a bit of self-reflection. And for that, every day, in the morning, evening or night, whenever you are comfortable, have just seven and a half minutes for yourself. 
I am not saying give yourself two hours, three hours, four hours, but but that seven and a half minutes, your phone should be switched off. Everything should be to a side, and you should be just with yourself and thinking, ki, okay, what is going on with me now? I am saying seven and a half minutes. This clip that I played was seven and a half minutes. I could have made it for ten minutes also, but in seven and a half minutes, some of us had already woken up. But seven and a half minutes, I always say, because that much of time we can spare for ourselves. With that, as you say, thu je che. You have been wonderful. You have been marvelous. Let's clap for the audience here today. Well done. Thank you.